What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, please hit the red subscribe button down below, we do daily videos here on the channel. And if you want your lines to get better, tell them to come to the channel, subscribe, and watch all the guides that we have here. Tons of guides, tons of um, good gameplay where I explain everything about the game, and yeah, I'm going to be getting more back into the game a little bit. You know, I've been a little lazy the last couple of days, but I feel a little rejuvenated, got a break yesterday, didn't make a video for the first time in probably like three months. So that means we're going to make two videos today. So for this first video, guys, I told you I would try to get all the information I could about the Blue Dragon. So for the Blue Dragon, basically you need 3,000 of the Blue Dragon crystals to um, to get the Blue Dragon. Uh, you can get, you can obtain the crystals through the Ancient Dragon Tower, and then they're also going to be adding them to the um, to the World Dragon Boss, those big like Dragon Bosses. So you can get them from here. Or from the dragon boss um one strategy for this event right here for when you do your challenges try to do it after you use like if you go attack someone and you've used your buffs like say you got a march buff and an attack buff and a defense buff use um do it then while you have your buffs on because then you get farther ahead each day in the challenge if it's a day where you're not attacking anything i don't recommend using your buffs on it but it will help so um let's go ahead and see what else um each of the dragons have different skills. Um, the normal dragon actually increases your siege engine, um, your siege engine attack, and the blue dragon increases your cavalry attack. So if you're someone that prefers cavalry over siege, um, like me, I prefer the cavalry and the archers are my favorite units in the game, um, then you're going to like the blue dragon because it increases your cavalry attack. Now they're, they are going to be coming out with updates for it and everything. Um, I'm trying to get a picture of the dragon, so if you see it on the screen right now, that means that I got it in time. If not, check Twitter, and I'll post a picture of what the blue dragon looks like there. Um, but yeah, that's the information I was able to get on it. You need 3,000 of the shards to get the baby dragon, the blue dragon uh, egg. And then once you get the egg, you can make the uh, dragon. Then I believe you can upgrade it just like your normal dragon. So, the good thing is, is that you're going to be able to um, send out one dragon for... Um, you know one dragon and, and you know you like can right now you can only send your black dragon out in one march like your first march well now you're not two dragons so you can send your blue dragon out in your first march your black dragon out in your second march and then um maybe once they get the heroes and stuff you can add those to marches as well should be pretty interesting um i'm going to keep trying to get more information on it that's the information i was able to get for now uh this is a short video but i am doing a longer video after this guys about prestige levels and why why everything's so important to prestige what each thing and each and these aren't the main buildings these are all the other buildings like the turrets um the um you know um, military tents all that good stuff i'm gonna be showing you right here so guys remember teamwork makes dream work smash the thumbs up button i'll see you guys in the next video i'm gonna do a uh about a 10 minute guide on all of the prestige levels in the castle and everything that it does for it so go watch that video it's gonna be a good one i'll see you then peace